What is up guys, it's your man Jay and I'm back with another video. So I've had the Pico 4 for probably about two weeks now uh, and it is impressive. I haven't really got into VR in a long time and I thought, you know what, let's give it a shot. So shout out to wirelessplace.com. That's where you can grab this set to get your shot at some cool VR. So I've been playing games and also been watching a lot of like theater style videos and movies on here. And I gotta say, I, again, I haven't done VR in such a long time uh, that this is a huge step up from when I first looked at something in VR. I mean, the I, there's some there's so many games on here uh, that you could possibly get, and there's some there's some paid ones, but there's a lot of free ones if you just want to test it out and you don't want to spend any money on VR games or movies. There is enough in the Pico Store. Uh, to get you a boatload of stuff. I have loaded up so many things. I was trying to figure out a way to do like a screen grab, but I just couldn't figure it out. So I said, you know what? I'm, they just got to trust me. If you've done VR before, you know that, you know, VR can be really, really cool. So um, the controllers are, are pretty simple. Like most VR things, uh, the controllers are or what you think they are now when I first started to use these I was doing it wrong I was I had them in the wrong hands but um, now that I've gotten the hang of it I'm really impressed with it the controls and the latency and the accuracy of what you're doing in VR is so spot-on it's incredible like literally I was playing this basketball game and I thought for sure the latency was going to be way off but it definitely is not it is literally between 90 and a hundred percent closer to a hundred uh, on the latency when you're throwing the ball, picking up the ball, catching the ball, any of the games where it requires you to punch, swing, any of those things. I played a fighting game as well, uh, and it is just really cool. VR is something that I think a lot of people would love to get into, but it can be very pricey. Some of the games in the store cost about 20 bucks, but when you think about it, people are pay paying four or five times that for video games that are not VR, not 3 3D animated, not all these different things. So. Uh, I'm really impressed with it, and uh, that was something that I had some concerns with, but I don't anymore. Um, the controls, again, are very easy, nice in the hand, very simple to understand. Uh, and I think that if you decide to get one of these, just know what you're getting into. Um, it's, how do I say it? It's on another level from regular video games, like on cell phones and even console games, I would say. Because uh, I still have console, I have a bunch of, uh, I have um, console games too, but I don't play video games anymore. And so this was just a test run just to see how I would like this. Uh, and it's actually way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I, I'm totally blown away at how it is. Now you can create your own avatar. When you first boot it up, there's some software updates for the controllers and the actual headset itself. Uh, but after you do that, um, you get yourself going. I suggest you go ahead and go into some of the the movies uh, when you pick yours up. You're going to be blown away. Just remember, when you first set it up, they give you the option to whether you're sitting or standing. And you can change this in the settings, but I kept it for sitting so I don't fall. I've, I've been in VR situations before where I fell and knocked over stuff, and it wasn't pleasant. So I put it in a chair that can swivel. So that's my office chair, and I put it in an open space and have a good time folks it's incredible you can look all around up down you could do whatever you want to do and it absolutely looks phenomenal man so uh battery life on the controllers they are by double a batteries i think they're double a they might be triple a or double a let's see yeah they're double a batteries uh so and they come with the double a batteries too uh and then the headset itself charges on this side right here And the power button is on this side. And you get this really cool uh, little thing on the front here. The speakers on here uh, come by. It's like it's shooting out from your ears or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that the speakers are these right here. And then also this vented area could be a speaker on top, could be a speaker. And I say could be because I'm not doing very much research on this. It's actually really cool. And then you have your volume rockers over here. You can crank the volume up. And this padding right here is so soft on your head and your face. It's just a really good fit. And then you have that same padding on the back right here. So it's really nice. And again, the adjustable dial. You can make it bigger, smaller, tighten it to your head, basically. Then you can adjust it with this strap up here. Uh, and it is just a good look. Now, um, 
comfort and feel wearing this for a little bit of time. I didn't get any kind of fatigue. There's, I did, I thought I would, but I did not. Uh, so, I mean, you, you're going to experience what you're going to experience. I'm not telling you that you're not going to experience any fatigue when using this. But I think if you're immersed in a movie or a game, you're really not going to be thinking about it because that's ultimately what happened to me. Uh, battery life on this thing, though, right here, this portion right here, it seems to be pretty solid. I've only charged it once. Now, obviously, I don't play it every day. Uh, but I've charged it once and I'm still roughly between 90. Well, okay, let me be clear here. When I took it out of the box, I just charged it enough to get it going. So it was at about 65% or something like that, 70%. And then I played for a very long time. And when you're on the screen in VR, you can actually see your battery down to the right side of the screen. And so, you know, the battery dropped from about 70%, roughly 65%, to it dropped maybe 20%. In the time that I was using it and I played it for I, I wasn't calculating how long I was playing but I played it for a while I did the updates I did all these things and then I played like three or four games for a very long time and then I also watched a movie uh, a couple of movies actually I went um, diving and stuff just all these different virtual reality things that you can do and then I put it on the charger at about 45 percent now it does have very fast charging believe it or not uh, but I, I'm not calculating and timing these things, but I'm telling you, like I come back a little bit later, an hour later or so, and then I don't even know when it got to 100. Uh, so it is definitely really fast. It's different, um, and it's different for me. <sighs> Once you get this on though, folks, you <laughs> it may look silly when someone's looking at you, but for those that are into VR, you're gonna know that this is the norm, this is how it is. Now, a lot of people thought this, when I posted this on social media a few weeks back, a lot of people thought that this was the Quest or whatever it is that T-Mobile sells and some other places sell. Well, it's not, this is the Pico 4, but they're all the same, folks. They're virtual reality consoles that go on your face, you get two controllers and you get to box it out. Boxing and basketball are so dope. There's a whole bunch of games like that on here. Uh, and they're all free, so just be sure if you get this or any of these virtual reality things, Test it out with the free stuff before you start buying stuff. Uh, that way you'll know when you keep it, you know you're into it. So I've had this for about three weeks or so now probably. And it is absolute. Yes, I'm talking to you with it on because I want you to see what it looks like on a person. Uh, but it is, it's not very uh, uncomfortable at all. Now, one thing it could be for me, it's a little heavy. Uh, it's not top heavy for this front portion. It is not top heavy. Uh, it's just overall, it's balanced very well. So you just make sure you adjust the back portion right here uh, when you do adjust it to make sure it's snug on your face. So when you start looking around and moving around and stuff like that, you don't mess up anything. You don't, It doesn't fall off or anything like that. So um, putting it on and off is actually fairly simple. It's a nice rig. I totally am into it. So doing VR is, is something that you, I guess eventually you'll go ahead and expand. Uh, if you're into technology, you will find a way to take yourself up and keep yourself interested. I did VR um, a long time ago when it was first announced, and it just wasn't very good. But now, it's it's hidden, man. It's, it's really good. This Pico 4 is really nice. I'll leave a link to it down below. So you can grab this at wirelessplace.com. It's your man, Jay. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.